Welcome along to another video presentation from the Computer Information Agency. My name is Robert Crane, and this short video will have a look at enabling inline editing in SharePoint 2010. So here we are at our document library that we want to enable for inline editing. As you can see, the normal way that we edit a document or an entry here is we need to firstly go up to here and select items and this will bring up our menu. I can then highlight the item that I wish to edit and then you'll find that there is a button called edit items. I simply click on that and that then brings me into all the individual fields for that item. I then save it and update it. But this can be a bit cumbersome when we want to work quite quickly through a large list. So the way we can enable inline editing is to go up to the list button up here, we select the option to modify the view. This will bring us into our current view settings. If we then scroll towards the bottom of the view settings here, you'll find an option called inline editing. I now expand that option and select the option here called allow inline editing and then go down and save that. So now when I go into my item, you'll notice that I have a little edit item appear to the left of the entry. If I now click on this, you'll now see it puts it into inline edit mode. So I can now go in here and I can make any changes and I can simply use the tab to move between fields. And when I've completed the entries here, all I need to do is push the save button, which looks like a floppy disk. Or if I've made a mistake and I want to discard any edits that I've made, I can hit the cancel button. So in this case, I want to save my changes, so I hit the save. That takes me out of inline edit mode, and you will notice that the update information has been added. Again, to go into inline edit mode, I simply click the little edit button that appears when I hover over it, and then save it when I'm completed, or cancel it when I'm done. I can still, for example, select the item and go into it the traditional way by selecting edit item from the menu that appears. This doesn't change, but again, what I can do here is that to change the ability to have inline edits available, I need to go into my list settings, modify the view in which I wish to enable it, scroll down to the option here towards the bottom called inline editing and make sure that I have enabled the option there. This video has been brought to you by the SharePoint Operations Guide. For information on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint, visit www.wssops.com. For more information or for feedback, please send an email to director at ciaops.com or follow the blog, supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thanks for watching.